What is up friends, welcome back once again for some more Tarantino cinema magic with his next film, Django Unchained, and we are getting into the very recent realm of his filmography, only a few more films left, including this one, which is kind of bittersweet because it's been a blast going through all of his movies and just really growing to love him as a director and his particular style, very unique style, and I'm sure this movie is going to deliver just like like all of his others, it's definitely got some big shoes to fill because Inglorious Bastards, his last one, was so good, so enjoyable. But I know that a lot of people talk highly of this one as well, so I'm expecting some good things. And I believe this is the first pairing of Leonardo DiCaprio and Tarantino, which is a pretty major actor-director combo right there. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing his performance. And the only other actor that I believe I know for sure is in this is Jamie Foxx who I've liked him in other roles I've seen him in, specifically Baby Driver is probably my favorite movie that I've seen or movie role that I've seen him in, but if anyone can bring out probably his career best performance, it's probably Tarantino, so I'm expecting some good things from him too, and I'm sure just as with all his films, I'll see a lot more recognizable faces as well. Hopefully Samuel L. Jackson, who has been a consistent, is in this one, and I believe that I have seen probably out of all of Tarantino's films the most little snippets from this movie just from gifs and memes and stuff like that I don't know to what volume we'll see soon enough but I definitely believe I've seen several from this not like spoiler or anything type content but I always feel like I should mention whatever I have seen previous to going into a film and so I'm very excited to get into it with you all I know it's quite a longer one but can never get too much Tarantino so I feel like that's gonna be a good thing and so if you guys enjoy watching along with me for this one definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow of course you can check out the full-length reaction to this on my patreon link for that is in the description below of course you'll need your own copy of the film to watch along with me there but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into Django Unchained amongst your inventory I've been led to believe is a specimen I'm keen to acquire is there one amongst you who was formerly a resident of the Karukan plantation. Oh jeez, I don't know if this is a good thing that he's wanting to take one of them with him, or a bad thing if he's just going to put them in an even worse situation. What's your name? Django. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Do you know who the Brittle Brothers are? Dang, so yep, it is Django, that is his name. And it looks like he's about to get unchained, perhaps, if this guy's gonna bring him with him. Stop talking to him like that. Everybody calm down. I'm simply a customer trying to conduct a transaction. I don't care. Man, his line delivery is always so good. He's already doing a good performance in this. Not quite as intimidating as his last role, though, that's for sure. Last chance, fancy pants. Oh, very well. <laughs> I take it back, man. He is a bit of an intimidating presence in this, too. All he needed was two shots, and he took both of them down. That was brutal, man. You shot Roscoe, and you killed Ace! I only shot your brother once he threatened to shoot me. And I do believe I have five witnesses who can attest to that fact. <laughs> Jeez, man's got a point right there. He's the one in power now in this situation. Well, if he took those guys out, maybe he is a bit better. I don't know. If you were to see the Riddle Brothers again, you could recognize them. Yeah. Sold American. So, Mr. Speck... Mr. Speck, how much for young Django here? Jeez, man, while the guy is in absolute pure pain, still trying to make an official offer. That's ridiculous. For young Django here, I'm afraid I will require a bill of sale. Do you have one? Go to hell, dentist! <laughs> I love the way we're starting off, man. We're just getting straight into some very interesting stuff. So far, I gather that Christoph Waltz's character sought out Django in order to find maybe these other guys who wronged him, the Brittle Brothers. Good morning, innkeeper. We won't be open for another hour. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Get that out of here. Nice. Hopefully the dentist threatened him. That's why he was running out of there. But geez, what a freaking terrible group of people, man. At least for now, Django has one friend around here. Despite that cart, I haven't practiced dentistry in five years. 
These days I practice a new profession, bounty hunter. Shoot, man. Well, maybe he still does get into a bunch of action in this movie, same as in Glorious. What's a bounty? It's like a reward. You kill people and they give you a reward? Certain people, yeah. So that must be what his thing with the Brittle Brothers must be about. He's just on the trail of his next bounty. Where are we going? I hear at least two of them are overseeing up in Gatlinburg, but I don't know where. That means we visit every plantation in Gatlinburg till we find them. Is Leonardo going to be one of the Brittle Brothers? I assume he's got to be somebody major and he's got to pop up eventually. But I mean, that doesn't seem like too difficult of an agreement. Just help him find the Brittle Brothers. Get out with your freedom. You'll be a free man. The horse, $75 in your back pocket. What's your plan after that? Buy my wife, buy freedom. I had no idea you were a married man. Dang, that's so awful to be separated from your wife like that into such abysmal conditions. I hope they're freaking successful at that point. When we gain access to these plantations, we'll be putting on an act. You'll be playing a character. <laughs> yeah, definitely a little bit too big of a hat right there. It's a very interesting premise, though, that they're going to have to be playing characters. And your character is that of the valet. And now, Django, you may choose your character's costume. He's gonna let me pick up my own clothes. Yeah, but of course. I'm excited to see what he chooses, man. Definitely gotta have that good valet style. Oh, shoot, man, is rocking that blue. Okay, best dressed valet in the country. You and your Jimmy rode from Texas to Tennessee to buy one of my Yeah, I have 5,000 things I might say that could change your mind. Is this where his wife is then? I would assume so. That'd be awesome if they could get her so early on in the film. I thought that was going to last quite a while. Django isn't a slave. Django is a free man, you understand? You want I should treat him like white folks? No. That's not what I said. Then I don't know what you want, Big Daddy. Oh, jeez, man. And they call him Big Daddy as well. What the heck? Definitely would be very difficult to stay in character around a guy like this. Dude looks a little bit like a Colonel Sanders, though, with that beard. Three brothers, overseers. The name is Brittle. John Brittle, Ellis Brittle, Roger Brittle. Sometimes called Lil' Rod. I don't know then. Oh, okay. Was this their plan from the beginning? Was he was just going to talk to whoever Big Daddy sent with him? They hit could you point one of them out to me? Well, one's over in that field. Oh shoot, man, the music started up a little bit, so I have a feeling that that's the correct guy. Hey, just what you want to keep me funny for you, John, please. I like the way you bag, boy. Jeez, bro, Tarantino's been dealing with some pretty heavy topics in his past two movies here. Is that who you was looking for? Yep. Where the other two at? They by the stable. Point me in that direction. Oh man, these three guys are about to meet their fate real soon. That's pretty good that it didn't take them very long at all to find them. John Brill! Oh, 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 what a shot right there. That is epic stuff. Dude has come back to wreak havoc on who messed him up and everybody else. Remember me? I like the way you die, boy. Oh, 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 oh what a freaking line. Just hit him with his own words back at him. Let's freaking go. That was a clean shot, man. Django's good as well. Y'all want to see something? Oh, uh, no. Oh man, holy crap, Django did not waste a single bullet. This Schultz and Django combo is deadly. You don't know if you're positive? I don't know what positive means. It means you're sure. Yes. Yes what? Yes, I'm sure that's Ellis Brittle. Oh my, what a shot and what a freaking moment right there. I love that quick dialogue right before he shoots. They are so freaking efficient. These are wanted men. I must warn you, the penalty for taking deadly force against an officer of the court in the performance of his duty is you'll be hung by the neck until you're dead. 
Can't argue with that right there. He's got that speech down, that's for sure. I'm still not 100% sure I believe what he's saying is the truth. I mean, I assume it is, but also it's very convenient that it can get him out of all these situations like this. It's a clever spot to hide stuff just in the tooth. Yeah, that's him, sons of Yo, wait a second, bro. Is that freaking Jonah Hill right there? He wasn't in the opening credits, so I didn't expect to see someone else I recognize. Oh, wait. They put some, like, dynamite or something in the tooth in that other shot, didn't they? If I remember correctly, so they did plan for this. Well, I can't see in this thing. Well, I'm going home. You know, I watched my wife work all day get 30 bags together for you. <laughs> What the heck, man? I did not expect such a huge ride up to the wagon to be followed by such a humorous moment like this. Big A! What? They tricked him! Well, where are they? Alfita's in. Yo, what a freaking shot right there. That was sick. Oh, so satisfying to see him go up like that. Dude, I love the way they filmed that, man. That was so flawlessly done. And what an incredible shot from Django. These two are gonna be unstoppable together. So we make some money this winter. When the snow melts, I'll take you to Greenville myself and we'll find where they sent your wife. Hey, sounds good to me, man. I love the portrayal of these characters and how they've come together and just the progression of the story. Let's just hope she works in the house, not in the field. You know, feel, but she ain't good enough for the house no more either. Oh gosh, man, that was a startling cutback right there. Leo's character isn't gonna be associated with being over her, is he? My character is that of a big money buy to buy my way into the Mandingo fight game. And your character is a Mandingo expert that hired to help me do it. <laughs> He is full of big surprise character plans and everything. He's got a setup for every situation. Hopefully it's enough to work. Turn around. There you go. There you go. Why do you want to get in the Mandingo business? I recognize that voice. We're finally running into him. Okay. The awful truth. I'm bored. This seems like a good bit of fun. Dude, that zoom is incredible, man. That's one of the gifts that I've seen before, but it's even better watching it in the context of the film. Turn him around! Now Oh my gosh, bro. These two are just gonna kill each other. My goodness. This Calvin dude is a madman. And I'm curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. What did you say, boy? Calm down, Butch. No offense given. None taken. Dude, I love the insane close-ups on their faces right there. I don't think Calvin is used to having someone talk back to him like that. Django's not gonna back down, though. You won't sell your best. You won't even sell your second best. But your third best? If I made you an offer so ridiculous, you'd be forced to consider. <laughs> They're committed, man. They definitely could get his attention with an offer of that magnitude, I feel like. How much would you say, Django? $12,000. Well, gentlemen. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. <laughs> oh, dude, I love having these three actors in the same scene. They're all so great, and their plan is working, that's for sure. Step one accomplished. You mind telling me what the hell are you doing? I confirmed that Pamela is at Candyland. Sure is her. He didn't call her by name, but she's a young lady with marks on her back and speaks German. Oh, jeez, man, that's good news, but you gotta be careful because you can't mess up this close to the goal. I done paid $500 for you. you. You fought three fights. But I won every one. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, but that last one, you muddled the line between winning and losing. Jeez, bro, this is a hard to watch scene right here. Just poor guy, man. Other guy's doing a fantastic job acting as well. You don't mind me handling this any way I see fit. He's your 
Oh my gosh, dude, that's so messed up. Hopefully we don't have to see it in gruesome detail. Calvin is really freaking testing Django right now. Bro, this is brutal, but this is an amazingly done scene right here. Just perfectly painting these guys as villains, but also a perfect way to show how well Django is staying in character. That's Samuel L. Jackson. It <laughs> took me a second to recognize him. I'm excited to see what kind of role he's gonna play in this. It'd been so long into the movie, I almost forgot that he was in it. Django and his friend in gray here, Dr. Schultz, are customers. And you, you old decrepit bastard, ought to show them every hospitality. You understand that? Yes, sir. I, I understand. So many great actors in one scene. This is a real treat. So is Steven kind of like the main help for this household. You mentioned she spoke German? Ah, yes, Hildy, what about him? Uh, do, do you think before the demonstration you could send around to my room? I don't see why not. Oh, shoot, okay, he agreed. That's a good sign right there. What's the plan? Are they just gonna send her over and they get out of there? Uh, Hildy, in the hot box. What's she doing there? What you think she doing there, in the hot box? She been punished. What's she do? Oh shoot, bro. If anything is going to make Django break character, it's gonna be his wife being tortured like that. What is the point of having a that speaks German if you can't wheel him out when you have a German guest? Now I realize it is inconvenient, but still, you take her ass out. Oh good, well, at least they're still bringing her out. I was worried that was gonna cause some complications. Hopefully she's not in too bad of condition. Hopefully they haven't been too rough with her. Ein gemeinsamer Freund von uns beiden haben einige Mühen auf uns genommen, um sie zu finden, mein Freund, um sie zu retten. <laughs> she can't believe what she's hearing right now, and I don't blame her. She's probably been in a pretty hopeless situation for a while. Voiced er. Er steht direkt hinter dieser Tür. Oh man, I am so excited to see these two reunited. And I love that it's in a closed off space so they can actually like spend a moment together without Django having to worry about breaking character. Hey, little troublemaker. Oh no, I mean, I can imagine that that would be her reaction right there, but hopefully she'll come to before she's summoned back. Definitely a fantastic moment, man. One must not forget the most important thing in the fight game, and that is a that can win fights. In other words, first thing is first. First thing's first. Definitely seems like Steven is kind of his right hand man just there to back up everything he says. I'm worried because of how attached he seems to Calvin that he could potentially cause an issue here for him. It looks like this pony's got big eyes for Django. <laughs> Schultz, don't be so down on yourself. You are quite the deaf of European gentleman. Oh man, that shot has me worried right there. Don't tell me he's getting suspicious, man, and ruins everything. I don't know him. You don't know him. No. You wouldn't lie to me now, would you? Gosh, well, even if she convinces him right here, I feel like he's just gonna be keeping a close eye on both of them from here on out, which is not a good thing. Eskimo Joe, twelve thousand dollars. Hooray, Doctor! Hooray! And a wise decision that is. However, that is a tremendous amount of money. Well, it seems they've reached an agreement then. I was worried there for a second that nothing was going to happen, but I don't feel like the deal is the main issue at this point anyway. I feel like it's just a way of stalling just so they can get Django's wife out of here. When he was alone with Hilda here, did you, did you just speak German or did you get to take her clothes off? No, it just talked. And... Oh, oh so, so, so you haven't seen her back? I haven't. No, 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 no. Oh, no, dude. This is going to set Django off so much, isn't it? Please tell me he's able to stay strong. Hilly's got something like four lashes on her back. Look at that, Doctor. It's like a painting. Look at that. Calvin! We are eating. I know I want to look at her whipped up back. Oh, gosh, man. Thank goodness she stepped in there, his sister. Such a horrific display. Somehow Django was able to keep his cool, though. Allow me to propose another proposition. Hurry up, goddammit! Mr. Uh, Steven, 
You just interrupted Dr. Schultz here. Ah, uh, that was fully intentional, and I feel like I know exactly what Schultz was gonna say. He was gonna ask for Broomhilda. You right, I handle it myself. Mm -hmm. Get me in the library. I just can't understand why you won't come talk to these. Oh no, dude, and now he knows something is up, and I feel like he's gonna be a little bit suspicious of Schultz and Django now. What is the matter? Them mother ain't here to buy no mandingos. What a camera move right there. That was insane. They're getting all sorts of creative in this movie. And unfortunately, he's just figured them out. Why this whole snake oil pitch about mandingos in? You wouldn't pay no never mind to no $300. But that 12000 that made you real friendly now, didn't it? Steven is smart. Gotta give him freaking credit. He ascertained their entire plan in just a few minutes. Who is your little friend? This is Ben. He's an old Joe that lived around here for a long time. Oh gosh, here we go. Is he gonna try and strike fear into him with this display right here? The skull alone is enough to make you unsettled. The skull of the African here, the area associated with submissiveness, is larger than any human on planet Earth. <laughs> Gosh, dude, what is he doing here? The scene is so much more intense just because Schultz and Django have no idea what he knows now. You'll notice three distinct dimples. These three dimples exist in the area of the skull most associated with civility. Now, bright boy, I will admit you are pretty clever. Gosh, man, <laughs> this scene is just building so much tension, doing a great job at it. Tabletop. If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is gonna let loose with both barrels that sawed off. Oh gosh, man, and just like that, it all blows up in their face. Great acting by DiCaprio right there. He's not calm anymore, a lot more terrifying. Not considering y'all have ridden a whole lot of miles to purchase this lovely lady right here, it would appear that Broomhilda is in fact the right. Jeez, dude, he is playing such a despicable character in this movie. I don't know if they actually have the $12,000 that they intended to pay or that they were saying they were going to pay before. Then we can examine the three dimples inside Romilda's skull. Oh my god. Gosh, dude, holy crap, this is stressful. I did not expect we were going to ramp things up like this. Sold to the man with the exceptional beard and his unexceptional. You make these gentlemen a receipt for $12,000, please. Jeez, bro, and then he just immediately goes back to his calm persona. This guy is insane. Is he really just gonna sell her and they leave like that? I don't know if it's gonna be that simple. Brunhilde von Schaft. Consider yourself a free woman. Oh, you love to see it. That's such a good moment right there. Very well deserved. Since what a Wiedersehen actually means is till I see you again. And since I never wish to see you again, to you, sir, I say goodbye. Oh, fetch, bro. The way it was so zoomed in on his face right there. I thought he was gonna lash out and just kill him right there. That's what I was ready for. It's a custom here in the South. Once a business deal has concluded that the two parties shake hands, it implies good faith. I'm not from the South. But you are in my house, doctor. Oh, man. I knew it wasn't just gonna be them signing the paper and leaving. What exactly is gonna happen here, though? You really want me to shake your hand? I insist. Such a slimy dude, my goodness. I feel like something's gonna go down here. Yo, Schultz, let's go serve that man up. Got what you deserved right there, but now you gotta worry about everybody else. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Dude, and he dies right after that? My goodness. So much changed in a few seconds. Oh my god. 
Gosh, dude, this is wild, man. Some of the moves he's pulling right now. This is insane. He is literally going to have to kill every last person on this property to get out of here. There is so much blood spraying around, too. Oh, this took such a turn. I thought things might get a little bit crazy there, but I did not anticipate this. My goodness. Django, we got your woman. You give up? Ain't no harm gonna come to her. And I'm supposed to believe your black ass? Oh, that's such a hard decision, man. What are you gonna do? Does he trust his aim in order to hit him without Brumilda dying? I give up. I can't hear you. I said, I give up. Surely this isn't going to be the end though, right? He's got to have something up his sleeve. Hopefully another gun. No way, bro. What? He just gets captured? Back where he started? Come on. There's got to be some good result that comes out of all of this. Miss Laura, come up with the bright idea of giving your ass to the LaQuint Dickie Mining Company. And as a slave, henceforth till the day you die. Oh gosh, man, this is so awful. If that actually happens, I don't know how lucky he's going to be with another Schultz coming along. They're going to work you all day till you back give out. And that will be the story of you, Django. Dang, bro, and we just cut with him going to that place he was just talking about. I can't believe the direction this took. Whoa, what the heck? I didn't actually expect him to have a cameo in this. All of his cameos seem to be him as a bad guy lately. The $11,500 fortune waiting for you back at Candyland is in the form of a wanted dead or alive bounty on Smitty Bacall and the Bacall gang. Oh man, he's picked up a few things from Schultz here. He's got his full attention right now. We tracked the Bacall gang all the way from Texas to Chickasaw County. My partner got killed. Calvin Candy got shot. Then everybody there decided to blame me. So here I am. <laughs> this is such a great shot. He has such a captive audience right now. He is playing his character right now perfectly. Don't drop the thing, all right? I've just had the sights fixed. That's good enough. <laughs> My gosh, holy crap, he did not waste a split second after getting that gun. Big mistake by those guys to give it to him. Yes, let's go, he's back to save her in her time of need. Nothing can keep this man down. And then we cut to another incredible shot right there. Holy cow. Loving what I assume is the end of this film right here. We certainly had some dark moments there, but I'm glad it seems to be working out for him now. By and by, oh. Y'all gonna be together with Calvin in the by and by. <laughs> oh, entering like a total boss. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude. This dude is an absolute legend, my goodness. The Django, you black son of a Do you sound here, baby? Man, this is so good. This man is bringing down the hammer on everybody. Will you tell Miss Lower goodbye? Oh, and we know why you say goodbye. It's because you're never going to see that person again. Dude, she flew back there, my gosh. I count six shots. I count two guns. <laughs> so good, gotta come back for everything. Every single word that came out of Calvin Candy's mouth was nothing but hope. But he was right by one thing. I am that one 10,000. 
Oh, holy crap, man. This is so satisfying seeing him bring down everybody that's been causing problems. You can run, but they're gonna find your ass. This Candyland, you can't destroy Candyland. <laughs> Oh, I beg to differ. I feel like he just did that. That place is going up in flames. No more Candyland. Jango! You open it, son of a... Oh, oh, man, what a shot. That is so awesome. I love that he stopped to stare at his work. Yo, this is a flawless ending, man. Tarantino has done it again. The absolute madman. Oh, man, I really hope it just ends on this frame right here. Yes, dude. Oh, that is perfect, man. What a flawless ending. That is so good. It's incredible that Tarantino has not a single miss and almost at times just seems to improve after every film. This one is absolutely one of my top in his filmography that I've seen so far, though. That was so entertaining and had so many great varying emotions and different scenes obviously we had maximum hype there at the very end we had some really really intense and frightening moments great action great dialogue scenes and all of it just fit perfectly together and what an incredible cast as well jamie fox i feel like this definitely is the best performance i've seen from him now i haven't seen all of his movies but I feel like going forward, this one's gonna be tough to beat because he was perfect as that character and his line delivery throughout, especially during the end, was just so good, so satisfying. Definitely helped sell those triumphant moments. And when you're acting in a scene with other really big name actors like Christoph Waltz, who was great again, and Leonardo DiCaprio, I feel like he even outshined them a lot of times, which is impressive stuff, but everybody across the board was just so good, brought their A game. I'm honestly ready to just press play immediately after this post analysis and rewatch the movie again because I enjoyed it that much. It was just such a well-rounded film overall from start to finish. I feel like each aspect of it was so good. Obviously, all the ones that I've mentioned already and the cinematography is one that I didn't really mention too much. I mentioned it throughout when I saw some really good shots, but I thought that was fantastic, especially when they got really creative, whether it was the orbital shots or the <laughs> super fun whip zooms that they inserted there, especially when Leonardo DiCaprio first turns around. I thought that was a great moment especially seeing it in context and surprisingly I feel like that is the only moment that I recognized in this film from GIFs or whatever and so maybe the other stuff I had seen were from some of the movies coming up maybe Once Upon a Time in Hollywood since that is the most recent and so I was glad about that because it made everything in the movie besides that one moment feel very very fresh and fun to watch and the story overall I thought was really really well written definitely one of the more linear stories I feel like compared to maybe some of the earlier Tarantino films and I feel like like he still did a fantastic job with it, but it had enough twists and turns mixed in. But you could give Tarantino, I feel like, the most linear and basic story in the world, and he would still find ways to spice it up and make it feel like something you'd never seen before, which is definitely what I got with this. And another part of the film that I somewhat touched on in bits and pieces throughout, but I haven't really mentioned too much, was the costuming and the set design and everything I thought was really well done, because obviously, this takes place a while ago in history and the style and the structures and everything are very different than what we're used to and I feel like they did a great job at transporting us into that time and into that space because I felt very engrossed in the story and in the world throughout the entire runtime and especially Django's outfits throughout I thought were phenomenal especially his final one all his hats and everything I just thought looked so great and definitely fitting for someone in that hero role and going back to the story that Schultz told initially he definitely did fulfill that mission and rescuer quite epically and so I really liked that finish 
and so I really am highly anticipating Tarantino's last two films coming up. Hard to believe that we've made it all the way up to this point, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching along with me for this one. If you did, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel grow. Of course, you can check out the full-length reaction to this one on my Patreon link for that is in the description below. But until the next movie reaction and hopefully the next Tarantino reaction soon, I will see you all later. Peace.